Okay, guys. So what we're going to look at today is this um, this low poly um, art style and how we can kind of achieve that um, within Unreal Engine using models from 3ds Max. So uh, what I might do is just pop over to the uh, web browser here just to kind of show you what I mean by this low poly art style. Uh, I've just searched for low poly game environments here. So um, you can see the style I mean is uh, where you can you can actually see the uh, changing direction and stuff with the lighting of the polygons within the model. Um, see it on the mountains over here. Uh, see if we can get perhaps another example. Uh, here we go. So you can see on the terrain here, you can see the actual definition of the polygons. And I think it's a really nice uh, kind of style. Um, and this is particularly for beginners going into creating um, 3D worlds for games. It's a really good place to start rather than trying to jump into the super um, photorealistic kind of kind of look. Um, so yeah, can we see now there's uh, another one here. Yeah, there's plenty of them where you can see it. it's this kind of style. It's not photoreal, but you can really, especially when you sort of get into the lighting and things, you can make it look really nice, but low poly. Uh, there's another one there. Okay, so that's the kind of art style that we're going to try and replicate uh, today. Okay, so if I pop back to 3ds Max, here's a landscape that I made uh, very quickly in one of the, the other videos, the landscapes video. Uh, if you're wondering how we made it, you can check that out. So uh, essentially, we're going to bring this into um, an Unreal Engine. Now, you can see well, if I did it with the way in which we want, uh, these polygons should all come through. But what I can do, if I remove my edge faces, by default, 3ds Max anyway, and I, I'm sure other 3D modeling packages do the same thing, they just they try to smooth this out. And you can see that we don't have that same, uh, you know, we can't see the polygons like we can in this kind of style here. Uh, what also happens is when you import it into Unreal Engine like this, it's got this kind of plasticky shine to it, which we obviously don't want uh, as well. Um, so what I'll do, I'll show you that I've actually exported uh, this one already as an example. So I'm in Unreal Engine here. Let's make a new folder called uh, Landscapes. And I'm going to import, import to game. Uh, And here you go, Lando one. Let's bring that in. Shouldn't need to change anything there. Import all. Okay, and I have this landscape, which I'm just going to drag in. Scaling wise, when I made this, uh, I didn't even look at the scale. It was just about creating it. So you can see that's way off, but no worries. We'll just scale that up manually there. Right, so we can see this terrain that I, I brought in and Really? I, I, well, firstly, don't worry about materials at the moment. It's just about uh, the creation of this. You can see it's got this shiny look on it. We can't see the polygons, really. They, it's like this attempt at smoothing it all out. Um, and it just doesn't have that same kind of feel to it uh, as, as these ones do. OK, so oops. without doing what I'm going to show you, that's the result that you would get. Kind of looks like, you know, so I've made it from plastic. So I'm going to go back to 3ds Max again. Uh, oh, the <laughs> navigation options between 3ds and uh, Unreal are different, and uh, it can be tricky moving between the two. So get that snapping away. I'm going to turn my edge faces back on. So I want to be able to see these polygons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the polygon selection mode here. I'm going to go control A to select all of them. And I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to go to this section called polygon smoothing groups. So this is what has essentially automatically tried to smooth everything out. So if I hit clear all uh, and then sort of deselect these again, uh, well, you can already see there that it's kind of given it this effect that we want. I'm going to remove the edge faces. There we go. And can you see now that we can see or the triangulation of all these polygons and things like that in exactly the same way as you can in this kind of low poly art style that we want to go for. Okay, so brilliant. Step one is done. 
So what I'm going to do is re-export this. So export. Uh, let's call it uh, land 02. In terms of export options, as a reminder, uh, remove this turbo smooth. That will be on. Uh, you don't need all this animation, cameras, lights and stuff. You can turn those off. Embed media is any materials that you've got applied to your scene. So um, if you've got materials, then tick it. All right, so I'll push OK. And that exports pretty quickly. Let's come back over to Unreal Engine. Uh, add import to my game. And let's bring in Lando 2. That's fine. And then let's drag that into the scene. Bring it over here. And crank up the scale of that. Put it next door to this one. OK. Uh, these are quite large, so I'm going to increase the camera speed there. So we can see straight away that we now have this kind of a, you can see the polygons, that look about this landscape that we wanted, which is great. But it's still it's still shiny. <laughs> we didn't want it to be shiny. So over here, you know, you've got the shine on that smooth one that we still have the smoothing groups on. This one, it's got the right look, but that's still got that shine to it. All right. Now that shine is going to be down to the material. And now if I look at what's been imported, see this material that came through. Um, and if I pop up to three, back to 3ds Max just quickly to show you my material editor, uh, I did just put a basic color material it's a solid color material on that landscape so that you know so that's brought this material through with it if you had no materials at all you might not get a material okay right so to fix this shine uh, i'm going to double click the material to open it in a separate window let's rearrange this a bit so you'll have this thing called base color plugged into um, the parameters uh, and what we need to do is we need to plug something into the what's called the the roughness channel. Uh, the roughness channel is here, and what we want to do. So if I click and drag out from roughness, uh, it's, it's called a constant. So I'm going to search for constant because I can spell. It's just the one that's called constant, and essentially that's a value between zero and one. Uh, it automatically puts it to zero, and if you can see my preview there, zero is like super duper shiny. <laughs> I change that value then to one that now goes from super shiny to super like matte like a, a matte finish that's great that's what we want so i'm going to hit save let the material save and then close that window down so instantly now we come back to our scene and the same material is on both of these so these are my two landscapes the one with smoothing groups which i mean you might want this you might want it to kind of have that Kind of effect but for me i don't like it i wanted to have this kind of effect so now we've got i know it's blue <laughs> ignore the fact that it's blue uh, if i come to my example once i could have made it green you know and it's got you know we can see all this uh detailing now in all of the models so essentially you can apply that to any model that you create so if you are creating like these trees for example you create those in 3ds max select all those polygons remove those smoothing groups and then you'll see the, the flat kind of detailing. Anything you bring over, remove those smoothing groups. Uh, bear in mind, materials will have this shine to them automatically. And you can remove that shine by adding the constant as a one. All right. Uh, I don't think I made any changes, but whatever. OK. And then obviously from there, you know, materials and things is a whole other thing, but you could you create much many more materials. You can you can paint on different colors and things like that, whatever you need to do to the landscape. But um, to get that effect that you want, that's how we do it. All right, and that's all for now.